So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, refine your presentation video that you've created in ScreenFlow with a couple of other uh, tricks and tips. Um, so at the beginning of the video, I'm talking uh, before we start in on the presentation. And right now, the uh, formatting of uh, how ScreenFlow records, they take your camera uh, image and they put it in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Now you can pick this up and you can move it around if you'd rather have it up here. Uh, you can put it up there if you'd rather have it up there. Uh, you can just click and drag and that's all good. And we'll undo these so that it goes back to right where it was before. Or uh, you can have it fill the screen. So we're going to show you how to make that happen. If I uh, come over to my video screen here, I'm going to uh, basically change the scale of my uh, visual image here so that it fills the screen. I'm um, going to go ahead and uh, you can see if I move it to the center we have these yellow bars that indicate that I'm in the middle uh, horizontally and vertically and I'm going to go ahead and up the scale. Now I know from past experience that my camera records uh, at such a size so that if I do a 400 percent scale then I'm going to fill the screen. So we've got that there. So one of the big things that we want to talk about when we talk about design is the idea of positive and negative space. So there we've got our uh, beginning of our presentation. And this is something that might be annoying with your concept, I'm sure you can also do it with your So. From here, uh, we could do a couple different things. We could fade out entirely, uh, or I can uh, shrink myself down and uh, have myself maintain a presence on the screen. Um, to talk to the uh, to the whoever is watching the video, so I'll show you both ways to do that. If I uh, want to fade out from here, if I have my track selected, I'm just going to come up here to video, uh, and you can see we've got a little video thing here. If we wanted to change the audio, we could change the audio, and I'm going to add an action. And if I add an action, uh, what that does, you can see we've got a little piece here, and this is the uh, this is the duration of the change in this uh, in whatever parameter I have. So if I switch to zero opacity here, now if I play through, you in terms of the concept, but I'm sure you'll be familiar with it at uh, the end of this brief lecture. So that gives me a little bit of the uh, positive and negative space title on the screen before we launch into uh, my actual images. Now if I want to move this so that it happens a little bit earlier. Of positive and negative space. So if I want to uh, use that essentially as the introduction to my title, I can move this here and then... Uh, space. And this is something that might be unfamiliar to you in terms of the concept. And so I'm pretty happy with the way that that looks. So that's as simple as it is to uh, figure out a way to um, basically transition from you talking to the uh, presentation of the material that you're working with. Now if you want a different kind of uh, switch here, if you instead of switching our opacity, you want to switch the scale. I'm going to uh, jump the opacity back up and I've got my uh, little transition here selected so this will be this will be fine. And then I'm going to switch my scale uh, back down to, let's say, 120%. And I'm going to move the location. Um, actually, I'm going to put myself up here in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. So we've changed the position and we've changed the scale. So now if we come back here to the beginning, uh, we do the introduction again. It's the idea of positive and negative space. And this is something that might be... And so you can see that uh, any of the changes that I made on this side of this action uh, are maintained and applied over this stretch of time in this uh, presentation. So it's a pretty simple way to uh, make it look like your presentation has a little bit more finesse.